Welcome to this section of the course where we're going to introduce the concept of torque. Now everybody has probably heard of the term torque um, and everybody probably has a little bit different, different definition from the other guy but what we're going to do here is we're going to define what torque is mathematically and we're going to look at how to solve some problems dealing with torque. Um, now we're kind of building on our knowledge of circular motion. Remember that at first we've talked about linear forces, mass, acceleration, then we moved into rotational motion and we kind of looked at the analog there. Well now we're going to talk about the concept of torque and the basic idea behind torque, one thing that you should remember, is it's kind of force along a circle. Okay, Angular force, sort of. Okay, When you open a door that's hinged, okay, you're pulling on it and the door is swinging through an angle, well you're kind of pulling around some angular motion there, you're exerting a torque on the door. When you take a, a wrench and you're trying to loosen a nut or something like this, you're trying to kind of exert a force through an angle or something like this, trying to exert and kind of create an angular motion or you're pushing kind of around something, you're exerting a torque, okay? So let's kind of talk about that mathematically. Topic of torque. Okay. Um, imagine that you have some kind of a wrench, okay, and I'm going to draw it like this. This is a wrench off like this, okay? The wrench has some distance, some length. Now, instead of using L, I'm going to use R, and you'll understand why in a second. But anyway, it's just the, it's just the, the length of the uh, wrench here. And let's say I've got some nut or something in here, and I'm trying to loosen it. Well, you all know from experience that it makes the most sense to kind of push on this guy kind of perpendicular, kind of push kind of straight up as, I've had it, as I have it drawn here on the board. So I'm going to exert some, some force, okay, like this perpendicular to the wrench and that's going to create what we call a torque around this pivot point here okay the torque uh, is going to be a, a T but it's going to be a fancy T with a kind of a curvy top and that's called tau that's a, a Greek letter tau okay uh, tau T-A-U and it's just a letter it just means torque and it's kind of like a T so it kind of, kind of easy to remember the torque in this case is as, as I have it drawn here is just equal to the distance R the length here um, times the force I exert. Okay. Uh, now I want to tell you though that the main thing you need to be aware of here is that this force that you put into this equation has got to be the force perpendicular to the object that you're actually pushing. Okay. Um, in order to calculate the proper torque. So this force is the force that's perpendicular. This is my symbol for perpendicular to uh, R. And R is just the object that you're dealing with here.